you know in the indian tradition we've always heard these this term called tan man dhan yeah we're all familiar most of us are familiar with these three terms tan man dhan when i create an intention and pour the attentiveness on to that it has to be done from tan man dhan perspective from all three layers at all three levels if it has to be successful if i need it to work then i need to activate all these three levels what are these three levels what is tan here tan is the physical form the body which means if i have to pour my attention into a positive intention to create highest possibility all the work that i do through the use of my body must transform into the understanding of seva whatever i do with this body must transform its essence its gestalt must transform to the understanding of seva and seva is for everybody i just don't do it for my self centric focus whatever i do when i do that a big energy is activated within me the physical energy is totally activated in me the tan level then the man level man means the thoughts the feeling the heart which again means when i do something with the tan and now i'm activating the man also here the attitude is becoming prayerfulness the internal attitude is becoming inclusiveness now here if in certain scenario i'm not able to go out on the street and physically perform an act of seva but in my heart the the mana is totally activated the heart is totally activated now i will pray to all beings out there i will work and operate from the sense of from the inner sense of inclusiveness not from the sense of exclusiveness anymore so now the mana is also activated the second layer is also activated then they said the third element the dhana so which means if somehow you are able to do these two or not able to do these two whatever the case may be but at least activate the dhana level which means do not hold your individual oxygen cylinder make it a pool of resources which everybody must use whoever needs to use that will use that it's a collective pool dhana means resources all the resources that i have i will put the resources for the jagat kalyan for the goodness of the world if i activate these three the energy that it unleashes within me my resolve my intention becomes absolutely strong the energy of attentiveness becomes extremely strong and i and i and i'm able to take a big jump of changing the whole perspective the energy which was going into the fear suffering suddenly it changes its route towards the highest good you know i was speaking in in one of the session and i was reminded that einstein made a statement that he, you can't solve a problem from the same level of consciousness which created it in the first place so it means if you have to solve the problem you have to raise upgrade your consciousness no how do you upgrade the consciousness to be able to solve a problem what is the problem right now the problem is we are confused we are fearful we are attracting too much of suffering we are indulging too much of in too much of suffering problem at a certain level of consciousness is which has been created how do i upgrade my consciousness to be able to resolve this i activate tana mana dhana when i activate tana mana dhana it becomes extremely easy for me to transform this energy which is going into the lower consciousness to take a jump towards the highest possibility mm-hmm.